What do the first 30 minutes of your day look like? If you're anything like me, you might check your phone, brush your teeth, go and take a shower, grab some breakfast before you head out the door. What I bet none of you realize, however, is that in just the first 30 minutes of starting your day, you've already interacted with over 15 different objects made from plastics. Plastics are everywhere because their incredibly unique characteristics have made them essential to society. In fact, our comfortable modern lives would be a whole lot worse without them. However, every year in Europe alone, we produce more than 32 megatons of plastic waste. That's more than 32 billion kilograms, enough to cover the entire city of Paris in a 30-centimeter layer of trash. Now, when I heard this, what I thought to myself was, where does it all go? As it turns out, about a quarter of all plastic waste produced in Europe is still sent to a landfill. Roughly half is used in thermal energy recovery, which is really just a nice way of saying it's burnt to a crisp. That leaves us with a recycling rate of just 27%. Did you know it takes 450 years for a plastic bottle to decompose? This means if you had landfilled a plastic bottle around the time a certain William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet, that plastic bottle would have decomposed about yesterday. Thermal energy recovery isn't much better either, because while it's true this produces some usable heat and electricity, we're actually, A, releasing millions of tons of greenhouse gases into our atmosphere every year, and B, purposefully destroying valuable resources that we could be using. Did I just say valuable resources? What's valuable about trash? Well, who here knows what plastics are made of? There are actually many different kinds of plastics. At the simplest level, however, all they are are long, connected chains of carbon atoms with a couple of hydrogen here and there. And they all come from the same source, crude oil, which itself is also quite a simple substance. You can think of crude oil as a sort of soup of these carbon chains in many different lengths. In order to make plastics from this crude oil, all you need to do is connect these carbon chains. And voila, you now have a plastic shopping bag. So with this knowledge, let's think a step further. If crude oil is an unrefined soup of hydrocarbons and plastics are the same hydrocarbon chains connected, what if we could break these connections? Break down plastic waste into something useful again. We could be killing two birds with one stone. One, we'd be reducing the amount of plastic waste slowly suffocating our planet, and two, we'd be creating an alternative to crude oil, which can then be used to make new plastics again and again and again. This is exactly what chemical recycling does. On a molecular level, the syn crude produced here is completely identical to traditional crude oil. The key difference, of course, is that one, is a fossil fuel, while the other is made from waste, which would have otherwise been dumped or burnt. And do you know what the best thing is? This is already being done, right here in Austria. This isn't some concept stage dreaming. From January to July of this year, I had the opportunity to intern at a pretty well-known energy and chemicals company, which is developing this potentially groundbreaking process. The fully operational industrial plant is set to start up in 2027, 
with an annual processing capacity of 200,000 tons of post-consumer plastics. Hopefully, it will be just the first of its kind, with many more to follow. So I wanted to achieve one thing here today. I hope that when you all go home today, you become conscious of just how important plastics are to our daily lives. We're not going to be able to get rid of plastics because we need them. I want you, though, to open your eyes to the fact that plastic waste is far more than just trash. It's a valuable resource that we need to be using. We need to rethink, as a species, what we do with end-of-life plastics. And the answer is simple. We give them new life. Thank you.